everybody, my name is Connor. I'm an English teacher and a state exam corrector. In this video, we will be looking at a sample answer that was written in response to a Paul Durkin question that came up in paper two back in 2016. It would be a great idea if you could read the sample answer first before watching the video. By reading the sample answer in its entirety first, you'll get a flavour of the student's writing and you'll also become that bit more familiar with some of the main points that come up in the Durkin essay. Having watched the video then, it's always a good idea to take a look at the annotated PDF version of the sample answer. This will give you extra info and tips which won't have been discussed in today's video. So before we get into the sample answer itself, let's take a look at the question. So the question reads, Durkin takes a narrative approach to explore a variety of issues in poems of great emotional honesty. Discuss this statement supporting your answer with reference to the poetry of Paul Durkin on your course. So the first thing to recognise here is the fact there are two tasks in this question. So the first task is to discuss how Durkin takes a narrative approach to explore a variety of issues within his poetry. And the second task then is to discuss how Durkin's poetry is emotionally honest. So the Durkin's narrative approach task will assess your knowledge of language used by him in his poetry and both the variety of issues and the poems of great emotional honesty aspects of the task uh, is ultimately asking you to explore some of the themes that are evident in Durkin's poetry. So with that in mind a good tip when approaching the prescribed poetry section of the paper is to always remember that you're basically being assessed on your knowledge of your poet's language and themes and again this question is no different. So now that we've become familiar with the question um, let's take a look at the marking scheme. The marking scheme outlines that the corrector is to reward students who engage with both aspects of the question. So to ensure that you address all aspects of this question in your essay, I would strongly advise that you create a plan. So the corrector will award you with the code NI for any valid points you make in relation to Durkin's narrative approach to explore a variety of issues. And then they'll reward you in this case with the code EH for points made in relation to the emotional honesty present in his poetry. So your goal really should be to achieve both of these codes for each of your main body paragraphs. And remember, the more codes you're rewarded, the higher your grade will be. So now that we've had a look at the question and we've taken a look at the marking scheme, let's jump straight into the sample answer itself. I think firstly, we'll take a look at this student's introduction. Straight away in this intro, I noticed that the student reinforced the question's keywords and phrases within their intro. So recycling phrases such as narrative style and emotional honesty, along with words such as issues, will help in keeping your essay on task. And then I think it just shows the corrector that you're on your way to addressing all aspects of the question being posed. I also liked how this student wastes no time in getting stuck into the narrative aspect of this question. So the student here outlines in their intro how Durkin harnesses unusual imagery and some striking language to support the narrative approach he takes in exploring a variety of issues in his poetry. So I think that this carefully constructed sentence shows the corrector that the student really understands that the narrative approach aspect of the question is really to do with Durkin's language and also shows an awareness of the techniques that the poet uses throughout his poetry. In the same way then that the student wastes no time in outlining Durkin's narrative approach, this student, as far as I can see, quickly refers to the emotional honesty aspect of the question too, all in their intro. So again, showing an awareness of the question, this student explains the candid and sincere nature of Durkin's poetry. By addressing the two key aspects of the question here within their intro, this student has given a very strong indication to the corrector that they will be covering exactly what the question has asked them to explore within their essay. I was also very impressed then with the wide range of vocab that this student displays in their intro. So the student fittingly uses words such as enigmatic and multifaceted when describing Durkin's poetry. This shows me that the student has a broad range of vocab and has the potential then to score quite highly in the L section of PCLM. Now that we've looked at the student's intro, let's take a quick look at some of the extracts from their third main body paragraph where they discuss the poem Parents. I was particularly impressed with the opening few sentences of this paragraph where the student wastes no time in outlining how they found Durkin's poetry emotionally charged. So the student here outlines the apprehension and worry that new parents can often feel and how this was portrayed with great honesty from Durkin. I think the student also explores how Durkin shows great emotional honesty, fragility and intense angst when experiencing his child's sickness within the poem. The student again shows an awareness of the narrative approach aspect of the question through their reference of metaphor, repetition and the way in which Durkin narrates with such emotional detail his experiences of parenthood. It's very important for me, the corrector, that this student has discussed how Durkin's narrative approach allows him to explore a variety of issues in his poems with great emotional honesty within this main body paragraph. By mentioning all aspects of the question, this student, for me, ensures that they are going to be rewarded with the marking scheme codes and thus will be on their way to a very high grade. I also really liked the, the fact that the student reinforces their knowledge of the poetic techniques. So as I already said, they're mentioning metaphor, repetition. So they're really showing the corrector there that they have a good baseline knowledge of the poetic techniques as well. A 
quick piece of advice I would give to this student in light of the paragraph that's in front of us here is just to include a bit more personal response. I think that if they include a personal response in relation to Durkin's poetry, all in light of the question, it would have really enhanced the main body paragraph. The student does show an incredible understanding of the various aspects of Durkin's poetry, but I would have still have liked to have seen some phrases such as I feel, I think, and I believe within this main body paragraph. I also think that the amount of quotation provided by this student is probably a bit unrealistic, especially given the time constraints of the state exam. Um, for you, I think one or two accurate quotes supporting your main body paragraph's main point is perfectly fine and will definitely suffice on the day of the exam, as opposed to providing more than two or three quotes. So now that we've looked at some extracts from that student's third main body paragraph, let's jump into the student's fourth main body paragraph where they cover the poem sport. I really liked how this student covers the narrative approach aspect of the question. So the student discusses how the poet's use of tone along with cold and loveless verbs and monstrous and animalistic imagery all go and support Durkin's narrative approach while he's exploring a variety of issues within his poetry. The student displays an incredible knowledge of Durkin's ability to be emotionally honest throughout his poetry too, in particular the poem Sport. So the student does a very effective job in discussing Durkin's emotional confusion which provides his reader with an insight into his deep feelings of self inadequacy. I was very impressed then with how the student employs personal response to enhance the overall effectiveness of this main body paragraph. By personally responding to Durkin's poem Sport, in light of the question being posed, this student for me gives the corrector an original thought outside of what may have been given to them through in-class notes. Remember, personal response is so important when it comes to the poetry section of the paper. It shows the corrector that you can form an authentic opinion on the poems that you've been studying. I also really liked how this student consistently displays their knowledge of Durkin's themes and poetic techniques, all while analysing his poetry in light of the question. It's very important that you show your corrector that you have a knowledge of the nuts and bolts of poetry. So try to show off what you know about the various techniques your prescribed poet frequently uses and explain the effect these techniques had on your understanding of the poet's themes to maximise your marks. So now that we've looked at a few sections of the sample answer, I just want to quickly reinforce some of this video's take home points. So overall, I was very impressed with this Paul Durkin essay. What worked well for me was the fact that the student convincingly and comprehensively addressed the questions to tasks throughout their essay. So the consistent link between Durkin's narrative approach and his ability to explore a variety of issues with great emotional honesty proved to be very effective and very impressive. The student also showcased a wide range of vocab and I also loved how this student structured their essay allocating one main body paragraph to each of the poems that they had studied. Some advice going forward I would give to the student would be to just include even more personal response throughout the essay and to be just a bit more realistic with the amount of quotes that they're going to use uh, in each of their main body paragraphs. So hopefully some of the content of this video has helped you in some way. Make sure you check out the annotated version of the sample answer for even more info and tips that wouldn't have been discussed in this video. Thanks for watching and chat again soon.